Hello, Zookeeper. I got the ESP32 tipping bucket connected to Wi-Fi. Um, it was actually easier than I thought. Uh, I had to do some code modifications, which I'll show everyone. Um, we've been getting quite a bit of rain recently, and I, I was able to um, run the tipping bucket outside. I'll show that in a moment, but uh, here we have uh, one and a half inches of rain, apparently, which I don't believe. YouTube Zookeeper, here's my wiring. I've got my power coming in on the USB cable. And then my ESP32 right here. My wires. The blue one runs down on pin 4. And the black one here is ground. Runs outside. There we go. Um, we're pretty significantly over an inch. It's an inch and a quarter all day long. It's not an inch and a half, but it is inch and three sixteenths, inch and a quarter. Okay, well, we're not off a super far amount. Did some measuring. One and a half inches is hocus pocus. That never happened. Um, maybe a little over an inch. Um, so it's the measurements off. I, I don't really know why yet. Um, I suspect I'm getting erroneous um, interrupts. Um, haven't figured that out yet, but uh, I went and reset everything and put it back up. And I'll show that in a moment. Uh, right now, it, it, we're showing an inch and a half. I'm going to hit F5 and refresh the page. And we should go to zero. There we go. Okay, so now we'll begin the test and compare um, and contrast the rain collected uh, currently. Um, I got the rain tipping bucket uh, clamped down so the wind doesn't blow it over anymore. Um, and uh, we'll move on from there. Okay, um, this code is originally from, um, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm, I think it's Roy Santos at Randu Tutorials. This was ESP32 with BME280, I believe. I changed a few lines of code. Um, I basically wanted it for the Wi-Fi interface, and that's how I got the Wi-Fi interface working. I also discovered that I had the rain pin set to two, and that doesn't work with Wi-Fi. It gets auto, it gets intermittent um, interrupts that don't make any sense. It just adds them randomly. So I had to switch to four, and I guess the different pins on the controller do different things, so that probably makes sense. I did not change the bucket size or anything like that, but I did all my equal zeros up here. Um, I also found out, uh, Great Scott, if it is in an ISR routine, if you have anything like this, tip count, contact time, previous time, anything inside an ISR routine, it has to be a volatile unsigned long. I don't know why that is. Um, I, I saw that in one of his videos, so I added it, and then I set them all to zero up here at the very beginning, um, so I don't have to do it later. Uh, the rest of the code on the top here I didn't really change. Here we connect to the Wi-Fi server, and again, this is the code that I copied and pasted with someone else's good hard work. I'm not a software person. I'm going to go down and explain what I changed. I changed the pin to 4, from 2 to 4, um, and that is there and here. Um, I don't recall if I had the set and clear um, interrupt before in the setup, but I do now. Here I set up the um, 
Wi-Fi information and I don't need these serial prints. Um, and again, I'm only going to talk about the code that I changed. I copied and pasted um, everything right out of the, the, the example that was provided at Random Tutorials. And there was four lines for the web page. I'm only using one. The only line, so I changed the BME 280 to tipping, to read tipping bucket. So I just took BME 280 out and typed tipping bucket in its place. Measurement and value stayed the same here. Um, I changed, I think this read temperature or degrees Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit or Celsius. I changed that to inches. And then I changed this line to total rainfall, which is the amount of rain that I'm measuring. And then the comma two is for two um, digits to the right of the decimal place. And then um, simply deleted the other, everything after client print line. I deleted every, all of the other stuff that was after that until I get to the client print line down here. To, um, HT, to this HTTB response, which I don't understand what it's doing, but it works. Um, and then again, I have the um, interrupt uh, routine um, or interrupt service routine right here. And all it's doing is checking that it's been more than half a second since the last tip. And if so, it adds the tip, it increments the tip count by one using this cool little feature. And then I calculate total rainfall and that total rainfall winds up right here. Okay, folks, it's windy. Apologize for the wind noise. Um, I've reset this. I emptied the bucket. Move that one out there. Move that, those two a little bit further away and um, emptied them both. Uh, they both had just a touch more than an inch and uh, we'll leave these sit outside. I'll put a little clamp on that to hold it down and um, hope for the best. So here we have the tipping bucket rain gauge again. It's been a couple hours we've been getting I think they call it drizzle um, on and off and uh, so I'm just going to hit refresh and see how much rain's been recorded. Here we go. 0.29 inches, so just over a quarter inch, um, just shy of a third of an inch. And now I'm going to take the camera and we'll go out and we'll measure how much rain we've actually collected. So we measured third of an inch that is not a third of an inch of rain and here's the bucket yep that's not a third of an inch of rain either I'm going to tip these guys over and reset my counter and see what happens because clearly we're measuring way more than we're getting I've got the ESP32 here I'm going to hit the reset button and the wires are disconnected and we'll see what happens after some time okay I went and hit the reset button disconnected the tipping bucket wiring from the ESP32 um, yeah there was nowhere near a third of an inch of rain out there a quarter inch eighth of an inch 16th maybe okay. we've had it disconnected for about half an hour um, and we'll do another refresh of the page and see if we've accumulated any rain even though it's not connected yep we've accumulated one tip in half an hour so something's going on that I have to figure out not sure what. I'll wait another half hour and see if I accumulate more. Alright, it's been another half hour or so. Uh, rain's 
fixing to move in here shortly, so I'm going to uh, cut this a little bit early, a couple minutes. I'm just going to refresh here. Yeah, so there we go. We got four, four hundredths of an inch right now, and it's disconnected. So something in the software is causing um, interrupts, and not very many. I mean, two in an hour. So I need to look into that a little more, and it's not the refreshing of the screen because I can do that dozens and dozens of times, and that doesn't increment the uh, rainfall. I'll leave this up for a second so people can uh, copy the code that I have that's working, and I will highlight the relevant pieces here that are basically, I went to pin state, digital read, I have total bucket, or total rainfall and then bucket depth because I'm actually doing some testing. Anyway, hope this helps everyone. If there's any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I read every comment and respond to as many of them as I can, as quickly as I can. Consider giving me a like if you find this valuable, sharing with your friends, and of course subscribing. Otherwise, have a great day. Zookeeper out.